Hey guys, you know what time it is for me. Of course, it is time for another Diet Coke break. Today, I thought that I would just do a short haul video and show you guys some stuff that I've picked up from Walmart in the past couple of weeks. Also, I finally got all of my things in from the Sephora VIB sale. Um, I don't have that many things actually, but it was just in a couple of separate orders. So I just figured I'd show you guys that stuff in case you are interested. I'm kind of feeling a little bit not not lonely, but you know, my, uh, my tree companion is missing. That's always right here. Um, but we're supposed to be getting some rain, um, this afternoon and I think all day tomorrow and Trey was looking a little bit thirsty. So we decided to go ahead and put it out so I could just get, you know, some fresh rainwater and all that good stuff, but it's left me alone and I just feel like this space is so just empty without it. Okay, well first I thought I'd show you guys, I forgot about this stuff. Um, I got a couple of necklaces from Bobble Bar, which is my first purchase from them. But I've seen so many people here, um, so many of you guys and some other girls that I watch talking about things they've gotten from Bobble Bar that I really wanted to check them out. And so the day that I actually placed my order, um, they were having like a sale going on. So I was able to get three necklaces um, for pretty inexpensive for what they are. And I also just placed another order with them um, about three days ago for two more really cute necklaces. I got an email for like a 70% off um, clearance section or something like that. So I found a couple more necklaces. Those will come in later and I'll show you guys those when they come in. But anyway, let me show you these really quick and then I'll get into the Walmart stuff. But anyway, so this is um, some stuff that I got from Bobble Bar. And um, each um, necklace comes with a little, um, you know, like a cloth bag that you can store it in. So that's really, really nice. But anyway, um, I got three necklaces. The total for all three necklaces, I think, was... And 23 I want to say it was like $32, $33 for all three necklaces. And I got free shipping, so, um, and there's no tax on it, so it wasn't bad at all. So, let me go ahead and show you the ones I picked. So, the first one that I picked is this really, really pretty, um, this is really long, too. Let's see how long this chain is. Um, but this is, uh, I'm going to use this, like, for layering. And um, it's just on a gold chain here, and it's actually, like, this little pendant. And it is, um, it's an amethyst. So amethyst just happens to be my birthstone. And so this is the one that, um, one of the options that they had in this necklace. There was either this amethyst, um, I think there was like a green color and then maybe like a black. But um, anyway, this one was $10. So I just thought it was really, really pretty. Well, especially with amethyst being my birthstone, I just thought that it was really, really cute. And I think it's going to be perfect for layering and everything. So um, I'm really happy with that. The chain seems to be really good quality. And um, the clasps and everything the hooks they all seem to be you know in order and everything so I'm really happy with that so that's the first necklace I picked I kind of hate showing you guys this stuff because I don't know if all of these are still available on the website or not if I will look and see and if they're available I will link them all below but still check them out anyway just to see because from what I understand, they add new stuff pretty often, I think. Anyway, I got this second really cute necklace, and this is just um, a gold chain um, that I can also use for layering or even just wearing it by itself. But the thing about this that's really cute, and I tried to put it against the bag to see if it would help, but I really don't think this is going to focus in. Um, my camera is not that great yet. But right here um, on the side, like one at the side of the chain, you can kind of see the placement of it. Um, it says love and these really pretty little cursive letters. I don't know if you can see this um, too great, but I will take a close up of this picture. Uh, a picture. I'll take a close up of this and I'll insert it here so you guys can see it. So it's just really, really super cute. Very dainty, very kind of, you know, I don't know kind of elegant looking, but at the same time, you know, it's just, it's fun. So that's the second necklace that I got. And so the third necklace that I picked up is like this, and it's kind of a layered um, look, you know, it's all made together, but it's got like a layering effect to it. And it's really cute because in this kind of gunmetal sort of color, which I really like. And um, it has the little bar that goes across right here. And then it has um, a little, just a little disc right here with a little charm on it. Um, anyway, it's just really, really cute. It's going to be really cute to layer. Of course, this is not a good example to show you because I have on a dark shirt. But anyway, that is the basic idea. And it's got, it's adjustable so you can, you know, make it shorter or longer if you want. But anyway, you can kind of see that is the basic idea of the necklace. But um, I'll do the same thing with this one. I'll um, insert a close-up picture of it so you guys can see a little bit closer. But um, anyway, I just thought that was really super cute and it was $10.
on sales. So you guys check out bobblebar.com. Um, they offer um, some really, really pretty things. Moving right along into the stuff that I got from Walmart, since I spent way too much time talking about Bobble Bar. But keeping with the theme of jewelry, um, I have seen some people here on YouTube talking about Walmart's jewelry department lately. And I honestly have gotten a couple of things from there in the past, but I don't usually give Walmart jewelry a second thought when I'm in there. However, they have really upped their game when it comes to shoes, especially in jewelry, I've noticed. So I was in there the other day um, and so I was looking around. So I picked up a couple pieces of jewelry that were just really, really cute. The first thing I picked up were these really, really pretty earrings and these were $2.98 and they are just, you know, your regular like post earrings. So they're really pretty. They're like a gold color. They look like they have, you know, some shimmer going through them, even though, you know, they look like they have, they just kind of look like they have gold dust going through them, which I just think is really, really pretty. These are going to match a whole lot of different things. Um, and they seem to be really sturdy, which is also very important. So again, that's what these look like a little bit closer. Um, and again, these were um, $2.98. I love these earrings. You can see, I mean, you can see by looking at them from the side here, um, that they're not, you know, just like tiny little baby earrings. I mean, they're good quality, like a heavier feeling earring. Um, and they're really cute. I really like these. They're going to match a ton of stuff. I was hoping they would have um, silver ones like this too, but I did not see them, but I might keep checking back. So anyway, these were $2.98, so I love these. I picked up this other pair, and these were a dollar. And these, honestly, they feel like they should have been a dollar. Um, they're a little bit flimsier, and uh, they're a little bit... Um, they feel a little bit, actually they feel a lot cheaper than the ones that I just showed you, but it's okay because these were $1, um, but these are just silver little um, like dome looking earrings. So they're just silver kind of pyramid like looking, I guess you would say. So I can use these to match, you know, a ton of stuff too. Again, they're still a good size earring. Um, the quality of these is not up to the other ones, even though the other ones are only $2.88, but these were a dollar, but to me, they're super cute. And, you know, I, like I said, I can put them with a whole lot of different things. So um, I'm trying to get more into necklaces and more, more importantly, like um, statement necklaces. I've never been one to really wear statement pieces of jewelry. Um, I'm more about just kind of the small chains and just, you know, smaller jewelry, but I have seen some that I really, really like. I think that they're pretty. And so I'm sort of trying to step out of my comfort zone a little bit. Um, this one actually I've had for probably six months at least. And I think I've only worn it one time. This one I got from Loft and, um, I absolutely love it. I loved it when I bought it, but it's just like every time I put it on to wear it out of the house, I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't look like me, but I guess that's the point of stepping out of your comfort zone as you're trying to do something that does not always look like you. So anyway, um, I decided to pick this one up at Walmart because this was $5 and a lot of them are still just too big for me. I can't, um, they're, they're so far still out of my comfort zone that there's no way I would even think about even wearing them one day. I'm just, I'm not there yet, but when it comes to statement necklaces, I'm getting there. But I thought this one was absolutely gorgeous. And it reminds me of the beach and it is gorgeous. It's on a gold chain. It was $5, it was regular price. And that is what this looks like here. And I guess I, maybe I could have worn it. It'll be pretty with a lot of different things. Um, anyway, so it'll kind of be, you know, this this kind of deal. And um, I really like this. I think the colors are really, really beautiful. It's not too much for me. I think I'll be fine, totally comfortable wearing this. Um, it really has these really, really pretty just um, kind of seafoam green. It's not turquoise. It's kind of like a seafoam green color. And I think they're just really, really pretty. It reminds me of um, like the beach. Um, so maybe like more for a beach vacation or even just with, you know, the right top, this is going to be really pretty, I think. So again, this was $5. This is the regular price of this. And this was just, you know, hanging with their regular jewelry. So. All right. So, um, the first couple things I got are not makeup, but they are makeup related. Um, I picked up, picked up two packs of these Swispers. Um, these are the, um, just the cotton rounds. And then these are the 100% cotton ovals. They're a little bit bigger. Um, I use these ovals whenever I use my simple micellar water. I use these for, um, I use these with that because I find that I need a bigger surface area, you know, to get my whole face. But these right here, I use, um, primarily to get like the remainder of my eye makeup and things off. So anyway, I picked up two of these. 
Then I picked up this hairspray from Suave. This is the Suave Professionals line, and this is the smooth um, Luxe Style Infusion, and it says that it is the anti-humidity hairspray, and they co um, they compare it to Kerastase. This is what it looks like a little bit closer up. Um, I got this because I saw Tracy and Stephanie on 11th Gorgeous um, showing like a hair tutorial about... Um, I don't know, blown your hair dry, straight, things like that. And they know exactly what they're talking about when they talk about humidity and trying to make your hair straight because they live about two hours north of me here in Alabama, which is kind of cool. So I knew that when they talked about this and talked about how this was good enough to combat um, the, the humidity that uh, hopefully they would be telling the truth. So I got this to use and um, I haven't used it yet, but when I do, I'll let you guys know. But anyway, I'm excited to use this and see if this will maybe help to, um, it says it's got 72 hour frizz resistance. So that'll be super interesting to see. So I'm excited to see how this is going to work out for me so I'll definitely keep you guys posted if y'all have used this let me know then I picked up um one of the new degree motion sense dry spray um deodorants and this is the one in fresh energy it looks like this here and I have his dub this one is degree which I've not tried so I'm excited to try that out and again I got the um scent fresh energy then from elf I picked up um one of the elf smudge pots um, I'd seen a few people talking about these, but I haven't seen a lot of people talking about these. But it's just, um, I'm thinking that this is going to be sort of like, or I'm hoping it's going to kind of maybe be like the color tattoo, the Maybelline color tattoos. Um, and I use those a lot of times as a primer or just to intensify like the other shadow that I'm using. And this is in the color, I got the color Cruisin' Chick. I don't know if it's Cruisin' Chick or Cruisin' Chic. C-H-I-C, whichever way you want to say because I never know which way it's supposed to go with the phrase but anyway that's what the name of this is so um it comes in this you know cute little pot like this right here and um let's see the color you open you look inside it looks like this here and let's see what color swatches um it's real pretty it's you know kind of smooth and um it goes on really nice and it's just really really pretty coppery color again this is um the elf smudge pot and this is in the color i'm just gonna say chick chic. I'll say chic just because it sounds fancier. Okay, then also from e.l.f. I picked up two more of their makeup brushes. These were a dollar piece. I got another one of the blending eye brushes. It looks like this here. And I got another, um, just one of the flat eyeshadow brushes. Looks like this. Um, for a dollar, you can't beat these and these are always great to have, you know, in your um, brush collection. And um, I don't know, I really like them. So a dollar piece, you can't beat that. Then I grabbed um, one of these new um, soft lips cubes, which I had seen. Um, and I don't know, honestly, I probably just got it for the packaging because it just looks so cute. But anyway, that's what this looks like here. I've not actually taken it out of the package yet, but I got this scent, um, Fresh Mint. So this is supposed to be a five in one lip care, it's supposed to hydrate, replenish, smooth, protect, and add shine. That's what it looks like. It's just really, really cute. I love the way the packaging looks. And again, this is in the scent Fresh Mint. So this just twists off here. It smells really good. And it's super easy to put on and it tastes like fresh mint. So when you get the top off, this is what it looks like. And then you just twist it back on and um, it's just super cute. So anyway, I picked up one of these. I've been hearing about this for a few months now, but honestly, I don't need another mascara, but I wanted to try it again, probably just because the package is so pretty and pink and I don't know, it's very attractive packaging. So this is the CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom, um, and I just got the color black, and so that's what this looks like here in the package, and um, hopefully this works okay. I've seen a lot of good reviews on it, so I'm excited to try this mascara out. Then the last um, four things I got are all from Hard Candy. They have some really, really pretty stuff out right now. And um, I picked up three lip products and one blush. So the blush I got is... Um, I already have one blush. I think it's in the color Honeymoon, which they've had. They've, they've had that in stock and carried that for a couple of years. But this is a new blush that they have. And this is one of the ombre blushes. And these are the Glow All The Way um, ombre baked blushes. And this one I got in the color Sunburst. So it looks like this here. And then open it. It looks like this. It's just really, really pretty. I, again, 
it's really, really pretty in the package, so it automatically draws your eye to it. But I actually really, really like this color too. So um, let's see. It's just really, really, it's kind of what I thought it would be. It's just a really, really pretty pink. Um, really pretty pink, you know, with the hint of shimmer because, you know, it's got that um, shimmer side over here where you can swirl it all together. So again, this is the one in Sunburst and it's just really pretty. It's just kind of a basic very, very pretty pink for spring and summer. So anyway, I don't, and with this, you do not, I mean, unless you just want to be extra glowy, um, I will not wear like a separate highlighter with this because it's definitely got enough to it that you do not need to wear a separate one just, in, you know, unless you want to glow, you know, a lot more than that. But, um, it's kind of built in. So that's so the first thing I got is called the All Glossed Up Hydrating Lip Stain. And it's kind of like a lip crayon, and this is in the color Cupcake. So packaging looks like this, and um, color just looks like this right here. So really, you know, pretty pink. So it's just, it's a gorgeous pink. It is a super smooth, glossy formula, which I absolutely love, and the color is beautiful. So again, the color Cupcake. So that's that color right there. So then I picked up another one. It's exactly the same thing. It's the Hydrating Lip Stain. This one is in the color Zappy, and it looks like this here. And we'll swatch it next to that one and see how it compares. It's really pretty and it goes on so smooth. So that zappy right there. The first one right here is more of like your sort of bubblegum candy kind of pink. This one right here, zappy, is more of a, it's got more of like a hot pink to it. I guess you can see if I hold it back here. It's got more of like a hot pink sort of undertone too. This is also new. They call these the plumping serum sticks and it looks like this here. The packaging is pretty. It's just, you know, like a silver packaging with um, some, you know, black design around. The color is supposed to show through the top here. And the color that I chose in this is Beloved. This twists up just like a regular lipstick. Looks like this here. The color again is called Beloved. Beloved and it's right here. So that's a really, really pretty color. Um, I think it's going to be really beautiful. So those are the um, things that I got. This is the e.l.f. smudge pot, and this is the blush I got from Arcane, and these are the three lipsticks. So I'll have all the colors and everything listed down below if you're interested, but I'm really excited to wear these lipsticks and that blush because they just look absolutely gorgeous. So, oh, one more thing. Um, we were just looking at the shoes at Walmart and um, went down the sale aisle, and for some reason, these were sitting there, and I... I've seen these in there before. I just think they're so, so cute. It's kind of um, nautical sort of looking. I love these kind of shoes. And um, they're super cute. They're just navy and white. And, you know, they have like the cute little snuff but, right here. Like the bottom's really sturdy. Like there's some support to these. They're not just gonna, you know, they're not just flimsy like fall off of your feet kind of shoes. But I just thought these were really super cute for summer. But for some reason, and I don't know why, but this pair was marked down to $5. I'm not really sure why. But, um, they're my size and they fit like my size should fit. I don't see any spots. Nothing's messed up. These shoes are meant to come on with me. So that is it for um, this little haul. I'll show you guys in another video the stuff that I got from the Sephora VIB sale because it's really not that much and I may not even show you. I may just do an Instagram post. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. I'll link it below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions about any of the stuff that I showed or the colors or you want more information, if I can give to you, I definitely will. So just leave it below and um, just check the box for the colors and all that kind of stuff if you're interested. And um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Have a terrific afternoon and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.